Okay, so we just got the results from the perk test back. They couldn't make it down more than a couple feet because of that limestone shelf. Not looking too good for this property. I'm so bummed because this is the sixth property that we've tried to get now. Number two. It should not be this hard. It should not be. I'm just kind of cleaning up because we need to get to um, the pet store. Why do you need to go to the pet store? We don't have a pet. We don't? Then what's this? Hey, do you remember when we got Haker and you're like, oh, I don't want a dog sleeping in my bed? Mm -mm. You don't remember that? No. Nope. I remember that. Yeah, you were mad about him sleeping in the bed for about 10 years. At least. And I remember the night before last when you said Corduroy doesn't need to sleep in his in his bed. Mm hmm He likes it. You created this. This one's on you. <laughs> Okay, just pointing out that I did not want to come look at this property. Adam wanted to come look at this property. And yes, it's really pretty, but we're stuck. In typical Adam and Janelle fashion, this is not the first, but the second time we have gotten stuck today. Came to look at a property, the road was fine, and then it just turned to mud, and we can't back up because it's like cliffs. Yay. So Adam just went walking the road, trying to see, um, if we can get out. <laughs> Came back shrugging his shoulders. <sighs> I'm like, my legs are shaking. <laughs> oh, why? Oh yeah, and it's about to start raining. I don't know if you can even, you can kind of see. <sighs> I just wanted to go to the pet store and buy a harness. Oh, corduroy. Are we gonna be stuck, baby? Are we gonna be stuck? Oh yeah, his name's Corduroy. <laughs> Ooh, now get up on those rocks. And go as far as you can. <sighs> Try to get up on those rocks. Over here on the side where it's more gravel. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. go. Ugh. Try to get on the inside. Okay, don't back up more. You're making a big old mess. We did it! <laughs> we did it! Not yet. <laughs> oh, that's a hole. Oh, Nike. Yeah, we're not buying you. We're not gonna buy you. <laughs> I'm so glad I took a minute to poop whenever he was walking the driveway or that would have just happened. <sighs> you can keep the land cows. We don't want it. We don't want it. It would have been okay. We don't want it now. This had so much potential too. Like look at these views. The views are crazy. I mean you gotta get past where the road's caving in and the mama cow that doesn't want you to pass her and her babies who stands on the road, but nope. Adam, you wanna explain what happened yesterday with Cordy? We think when his when he switched foods, actually he didn't switch foods, but when they switched him to regular food, it was too rich or something, but he started not feeling well. And so he started shaking when we went to the pet store to get him something better. And so we took him to the vet. He was having like diarrhea and not eating or drinking. Yeah. So we took him to the vet and apparently there's a an outbreak. Oh, parvo. Yeah, apparently there's a little bit of a parvo outbreak going on. So they were worried about that. So they like cleaned a room and isolated and checked in for parvo and all that other stuff. And they said he's perfectly healthy and his tummy's just upset from something, probably switching over. So they gave us some medicine to help calm his tummy. And, and we switched him to, can you turn that? He's currently eating well, this mixed with a little bit of 
the blue. Yeah, so he wouldn't eat the, the nice vet food at all. Like, we couldn't force him to eat it even. No. Um, but he loves blue. And so, and both of them have similar ingredients. So right now we're mixing the blue with this so that he will eat it and stay healthy. And it's got little veggies in it. And he's finally eating. He's not having diarrhea. He's doing so good. This is his third meal and it's only noon. <laughs> We're giving him small meals. <laughs> he's just, he's so hungry from not eating for a few days, so. Yeah, and he's still not drinking a ton of water. Look at that belly. But we have some Pedialyte for him, and he's getting a lot of moisture because we're feeding him wet food, so he should be all right. Now, look at me again. Your hair, it reminds me of like a dinosaur. I can't think of which one it is, though. <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. We've been looking for land all over Arizona and, and New Mexico. And New Mexico and Arkansas and Utah and Nevada. And Texas. And Texas. And California and Oklahoma and Washington and Oregon. Have we missed any Nevada? Um Missouri. <laughs> and Missouri. And I think we might have found our property, but I'm not going to jinx it like last time. So, a fun twist of events, we're on our way to Oregon. <laughs> we just can't find land. Like, why is it so hard? That I was looking up dangerous insects and animals here, and apparently there's a bug called the kissing bug, and it likes to crawl onto your lips at night and it eats your lips and then poops into the wound. So there's that. <laughs> Never sleeping again. Hello. Yeah, this is all I do all day now. Um, <sighs> Adam, what's our baby's name? Hot dog. <laughs> you gotta go, you gotta go to your crate. That's right here. Hey, you gotta go to your crate. Hey. It's not working. Yeah, try harder. Go to your crate. 